Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Barnes Brothers I'm here with a, um, it's not so much a trailer review as much as a gameplay demo review, you know, in honor of E3, E3 week going on. And we have Assassin's Creed 3 here. And yeah. this trailer was just, I, I really liked it. The mm, ship, yeah. the ship gameplay you're about to see here, they should do something new and the naval side of the war because it's like during the, during the Revolutionary War. It, so. it is just amazing. I've never seen anything. No, I'm stop. <laughs> I'm going to stop saying I've never seen Bob so much. Anyways, well, this is really cool. Yeah. I mean, uh, they said that uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, the game takes, is like a, the game is basically like a 30 year span that the game takes place mm -hmm. over of uh, the main character um, being um, Connor. And it takes over, basically, so this, I'm, Guessing, assuming this is later on in his life, just, um, I don't know why this just looks so fun to me. Yeah, like when me, I saw this, I was like, "This looks so fun!" Like uh, anyone who knows me probably knows I'm a big fan of the uh, pirates in the uh, um, yeah, the pirates in the in the Caribbean movies. But um, it's just to me, if that was a game that was good, <laughs> this is what it would. This is what the you know did. The navigation of ships would be. Like. I could. I would literally do this for hours. Like I know it's about to be some combat in a second, but I would literally just, just, just pilot this boat. It just looks yeah, fun. It really does. This is a lot of fun. I mean, you can see the, um, the way that the uh, characters are reacting mm. to the, to, to the fighting. It's not just stationary, sitting there shooting. You see yeah. hustle and bustle about the ship. You yeah. see what happens when, the, uh, what a ship crew does when you know they're. In combat, when they're under yeah. fire, what everyone running to to their it's, stations. No, no, but look at that with it. See that on the water? It's like a little lane there. It's kind of gone. It's gone now. But every time they get close to a ship that they're trying to shoot, you see that that little lane appear in the water. It's like a light kind of thing, and it's like a subtle way of showing you, like, okay, you're lined up now. You can shoot instead of having these yeah. big arrows. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, and it was cool, and I liked it. It's like subtle, but it was, it was, it was yeah. sweet and easy to look at and recognize. I mean, stuff. it's 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 really it's really. It's really, really good to look at. I mean, it's very, it's very pleasing to the eye. The graphics are nice. They're smooth. Um, I mean, the the reaction to everything. You can see that this obviously is, you know, you actually playing mm -hmm. and just looking at how, how how Connor is moving and how he's crushing down to duck from fire. It's just all really cool. Yeah, it's a nice little details. It's nice. And um, you know, I don't know. Maybe some people might complain that it doesn't feel like Assassin's Creed or something. But personally, I mean, I like it. I mean, yeah, it does seem different. You it's know, very but. different, and I love when games do that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the game still has those Assassin's Creed aspects, but for someone to say it's not like Assassin's Creed, I mean, when you look at any of the Assassin's Creed games uh, after the first one, you always had this little part where you did something different. Like, like Da Vinci's flying machine. Yeah, like, <laughs> or, or like, you know, in, uh, in, in like Brotherhood, when you're... Uh, Riding in like the carriage, you know, and you have like the, a Gatling gun on the back and all that stuff. So I mean, you, you do these kinds of things a lot, and I do like that aspect to take you away from the, uh, I guess the uh, parkour uh, aspects of the game, scaling buildings, which is fun, and do something different, like yeah. the set piece. Yeah. This is obviously a big set piece, and I think games need set pieces. Yeah. People might say, oh, it's not realistic, but that's to me, that's what makes games cool. Yeah, set pieces. And you know, this is a big part of war, obviously, and they're not afraid to just you know go and tackle it. And to me, they're doing it. It looks, it looks awesome. I, I really do want to play, just play this mode, particularly this whole mode. I mean, I don't know how many sequences in the game. Maybe it's just one sequence in the game. Yeah. I don't know. But it, just, it really looks like a lot of fun. I, I would just uh, enjoy doing it. And then, like, here you see how the ship is taking damage, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah. that's also very yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, in, in video games with ships, I, I've always loved ships. Like, I always hate when something happens. Like, what are you doing on my ship? Or that person <laughs> took my ship. Or, man, you just blew my ship up. Yeah. You know, because just, I mean, I've always liked, you know, being like the captain of a ship in video games. I've always just liked that. But, um, so yeah, this is really cool. It just looks really nice, you know. I mean, yeah. And I was, because this was something different, because Assassin's Creed got a lot of play at E3, because they had a Ubisoft conference and they had it here. But um, they said, you know, we're going to show something a little different today, uh, something we haven't seen before, so they'll be able to keep secret. I saw it, I was like, whoa, I was not expecting this. It was pretty cool. And then obviously, okay, we got a little cutscene here, and they're about to board the ship and go combat. And I must say, more kudos to Sony, because mm -hmm. they were able to get this exclusive <laughs> for them to show off yeah. exclusively. So that just goes. More kudos to Sony for uh, overall the best conference so yeah. far yeah. at our E3. Yeah, so that, that was good. Um, we're going to let you see it now by itself without our voices on it in case you haven't seen it already. It's really awesome. Uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace, guys. At sea.
So we recreated the oceans of the 18th century, complete with beautiful vistas and a weather system that can change at any moment into heaving swells and pounding rain. You see the catch part, Captain! Anything, Captain? Due north of here. Sails up, man! Faster! Man. Connor, you are the captain of this vessel, with full control of both navigation and cannons, as you take the fight for the revolution to the high seas. Captain, you can be sure he's got something up his sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> 